It's Jesse. Back when I was still finding my feet in Midgar, I ran into some trouble. But she took me under her wing, helped me out, saved me, really. Sounds like her. I admired her. She was so cool and confident. Like nothing could bring her down. Yeah, I know. I owe her so much. Thank you for everything. Or Tifa. The reason I said, uh, uh, does this not look like a Dia to you? Maybe not. That thing looks exactly like that crown she wears, though. But only one side of it. And then that guy kind of looks like Squall from far away until you see what he's wearing. One day, I'm gonna be singing I have no idea what you mean. Like, I saw this guy from far away, right? And I thought it was Squall for a second. And I looked over and saw this... And she has, like, the head thing like Adia, and I was like, wait a second, is these all Final Fantasy VIII characters? And I realized, like, nah, not really any of them are, but... Here's all the Loveless posters, even the one that we can get. And some we haven't seen yet. And there's the card. That looks straight out of, like, Bioshock. I don't know, I might be reaching, but that thing really looks like that. You, you know what I'm talking about, right? That, like, crown thing that Adia wears? Just reminded me of it. And then this dude has, like, Squall's haircut. <laughs> so I just saw them both together, and I was like, whoa. But none of these other characters look like anything. So, I'm probably making that up. That'd be two Final Fantasy VIII references, which would be kind of nuts. Well, shall we? Yeah. Especially since there hasn't really been any references to any so other Final Fantasy. Out. The races, maybe? Not again. Done for the day, I guess. Remake had the ten reference. She was always a star, but just imagine her up there. Yeah. Wish I could have seen it. But really, that's it. 10 reference in Remake and 8 reference in this one, and that's like it. It's not like there's a lot of them. <laughs> Guys, I saw a picture of someone that kind of looks like Squall. 8 Remake confirmed. Well, look who it is. We meet again. For the third time. Say, your duel with Dio earlier was a sight to behold. <laughs> Gave me goosebumps. The How do you do that? Calls to you, begs for you to bear your soul upon it. What are you doing out here? The park director requires my talents for a show. <laughs> my fancy footwork, to be precise. What do you say? Shall we cut a rug? No. <laughs> Not even the limelight can melt that icy heart. No. I repeat, oh, nothing to do here either. Yep. It's interesting. It's interesting how they actually prioritized making this feel like OG Gold Saucer 
I thought they'd go crazy and just do their own vision of Gold Saucer. But instead, they actually focused on making it as accurate as possible. Not leave until I ride that sky wheel. Wait, that's right, we can't do this yet. Wait. Oh, I guess we have to do the battle square and then this is gonna open up. Because it's still an objective. Is there a Bahamut fight two hours into Crisis Core? Why not? This song soothes my brain. It does something to my brain. I don't know about soothe. I do like this version a lot, though. More than the original, I think. because it doesn't repeat as often. <laughs> so it doesn't get as annoying when you're here a long time. And Kate sits back, but he's dancing for other people. Up. Why are you guys wearing like I guess that's just the battle arena outfits? Suits flexing on me. How dare you? Where's the lady that gives me my sprint shoes? Yeah, 14 gold saucer is awesome, but mostly because it's already an MMO, so all you have to do is put in like games that people can play together and it's really fun just doing stuff with other people like the triple triad tournaments and stuff yeah I was, I was pretty impressed with 14's gold saucer it's really cool and because it's an MMO they can constantly add to it too Yo, Dynamics, thank you for the raid. Uh, rebirth spoilers ahead. Although right now we're not really doing any story stuff at the exact, right exact moment, but just so you know, we are currently playing Rebirth. We'll be a good stream, man. Hmm, it's a 2v2. Interesting. The Zoomies. Being 2v2 at least sets it apart from the... the VR fights, so that's cool. Tifa doesn't have anything equipped, so... Yikes. Too many enemies! Oh my god, what is happening? We're getting sauced.
We got sauced. I had this. I know I did. What a great date. Get beat up with my date. They seem like more gimmicky fights, which is cool. Give us Alright, what do you have? You still have the Kaiser Knuckles. Power wrist guards. Uh, we can just give you Earth's Materia. Try that again. Talk to me. Or not. Should I heal or does it not? It should heal me before the battles. Why is that there? Also, obvious, but. The battles don't take GP anymore. They caught they give you GP. Battle points aren't a separate thing. Which makes sense. Alright. Fire. Oh my god, <laughs> he's get juggled. Yeah, this is my last square here. Other than the the sky wheel. I believe, I haven't done the testing yet, but I believe that, uh, whatever it's called, barrier, I don't think that's what the spell's actually called though, is it? Maybe. 
Whatever the one is that isn't... Or whatever the one is that isn't barrier. Um, that one is just a stat boost, whereas per barrier is like the typical Final Fantasy VII... Or, no, it's the other way around. Protect is what barrier was in the original. So protect is the one that halves physical damage. Whereas barrier is just a stat boost in like vitality or something. And I think my guess is that one lasts longer since it's a less potent ability. Also, protect can be deprotected. And I don't think barrier can be. against these guys, because I can't assess. I'm guessing we want to do this. No. Just reading them, that's my... Yes, but I'm not actually testing them yet. Dio. Oh man. Dude, I swear every every single moment that they could put new music in, they did. It's insane. They never you they never reuse a single piece of music. what this is going to entail. Oh. Bunch of goons. Or something. Come on, Poppy. Quick thing. Back me up. Throw him up. Get in there. I've got this. So long. So wait, can I not use fire now? Burn now. Oh, I can. Don't overdo it. Don't give up. Help me, Cloud. I've been eaten. You're done. Don't stop now. You'll get through yourself. 
I wonder if I should be throwing fire at him while he's... I should. Can I use anything else or just gotta wait for the... Wait for it, I guess. Wicked. Thanks so much for the uh, support, man. Seriously. Thank you, thank you. Really appreciate it. Secrets of the Ninja. Oh, God. These things? Toasted. Enjoy your Toasted me like a friggin' marshmallow. Kind of all materia. are cool. I haven't actually looked at some of the new accessories I got. So I think I got... Yeah, I got this too. Strength and magic power day. Wait. Oh, because, yeah. I'll give you that. Tifa could be a space ranger. Are you interested in joining the fray? I wish I had other party members, because they would be a lot better than Cloud and Tifa here. Alright. Oh, normally those guys do crazy damage. Damn it. 
damage is nuts. See the help? Why did I see a bunch of immunes? Oh, because she was getting hit during her limit. damage with that to pressure him. Unfortunate. 
that's a bit unfortunate. Gotta be careful. I, uh... Not sure... What the plan is here. <laughs> seems really freaking good. This is like the third enemy that said they have a small resistance to poison, and I still poison them in one shot. Seems like the success rate on it is really good. here. because he's still not dead. Poison's helping a lot, though. Should have done like a fully charged power cleave there. That would have been smart. I still want to try to make that work, but now it's probably not a good time. Skim the business. Quicker, because I'm dying. Oh, she whiffed? Oh, she whiffed. When he did that jump. Limits work so different in this. 
in Remake, it was almost impossible to whiff a limit. They had like crazy homing. Like you would see, no like you were, you'd be fighting Bahamut, and Bahamut would like take off and jump across the map, and you would watch Tifa like magnetize to him while she was using her limit. <laughs> it had just like crazy traction. Not in this game. They can they can very easily whiff. Defeat the classified foe. So we can't do this yet. Those are fun, man. Give us a holler when you want to throw down. That one I just did was like level 38 or something. That's why it was so difficult. 39. I did the level 39 on level 30. We're all one. That's why it took three staggers to kill him. All right, well, this is a good place to stop because now we just got to go do the Skywheel and move on. But we did get to see the entirety of the Gold Saucer other than the Skywheel. Yeah, I mean, the, the Gold Saucer is great. I don't mean to make it sound like I'm, like, disappointed in it. I, it is really cool. It definitely looks really cool. It sounds really cool. It's kind of exactly what you would figure it would be. I just think that the expectation for it was definitely higher, and I think a lot of people are probably going to be disappointed in how, like, unreplayable it is. Because this was their chance to make something, like, super replayable, but honestly, the game itself is very replayable. It doesn't need this. It would have been cool to have, but it does not need the Gold Saucer to be this all-encompassing, like, you know super replayable thing they just wanted it to be like another Costa del Sol where it's just a little distraction before the next big part of the story and for that it definitely works well it's just not really what they I feel like the vision of Gold Saucer in the original was to be like this amusement park where you would like go to it all the time to have fun and so they could have expanded on that here, and instead they just kind of made it the same as it was in the original, just a, a quick distraction. Um, but that's still fine. Um, it just could have been better, I suppose. Uh, and I guess my my own my only real like big complaint I think is Speed Square. Speed Square is just kind of lame. It's worse than the original, I think. <laughs> and like I said, that was a really great opportunity. I was going coy. Um, that was a really great opportunity for them to be like, let's make a replayable, like, you know, something like Asteroids or Missile Command or something where, like, it's gets harder and harder as it goes and you could kind of keep pushing yourself to go further and further and there'd be some kind of replayability there. Instead, it's just like the Wonder Square games where it's just three goals and then you're done. Um, and there's, like, legitimately no reason to ever play that again because, uh... It's just the same target. Like, so, like, the original Speed Square, yes, it's the same exact thing every time, but there's so many targets that you can only shoot so many. So every time you do it, you can kind of pick new targets to shoot and see what kind of points you get. And then on top of that, there's uh, several Easter eggs. There's a light you can shoot for, like, 10,000 points or whatever. Um, there's the UFO at the end that if you kill, it's a bunch of points. Um, and then there's, if you get super high scores, it doesn't even tell you in the game, but if you get super high scores, you get like Easter eggy items like the Mazamune thing and the umbrella. So like, there's just a lot going on with it, even though it is technically the same thing every time you play it. Um, here it, it is legitimately just shoot the same exact ships that pop up in the same exact spots. Unless it's actually like the ships are different. I only played it once, but I'm guessing it's the same thing every time because you're shooting for the same score every time. So I'm guessing it's literally the same as act. Here's three ships, here's three more ships. It wasn't even like I had to change, decide which targets to shoot. It was just shoot the ones that are on screen, you know? Like maybe just different places to use the bombs. I, like really, there's just not much. Uh, so that, that's just kind of unfortunate. I think, I think that one is, I think it's fair to say that one's a bit of a letdown. It, it's funny though, like I said before that I thought the Gold Saucer was going to be their opportunity to go wild and not make it anything like the original. Uh, but instead, this was the one time where they actually stuck to the original maybe too much or just 
really just made it a carbon copy of the original almost, where it's some games in the Wonder Square, a uh, rail shooter, kind of, in Speed Square. They have uh, Event Square, still like nothing unless you're doing the event. Uh, although maybe in this one we might be able to like replay the event or something once we do it once. We'll see what that's about, but... Um, the Chocobo Square, you still can't do anything in your first visit. Uh, but you can't even you can't even bet on the races. You can only I'm guessing you can only race, and we can't even race yet. Um So yeah, just weird. Like they really wanted to make it exactly like the original, and this was the moment when I thought they would just go crazy and make it nothing like the original and just make a really crazy fun amusement park. I would have preferred them do that. I don't really have any like, my only sentimental value to Gold Saucer is, like, the basketball game and the fortune teller and, like, just the goofy little arcadey stuff. And that's not even there. It's it's just the big games. So, like, the one thing that maybe would have been cool to see sentimental-wise for me wasn't there. So, I don't care if it's, like, the original. I would rather them, like, go crazy and make it... People were saying, like have microtransactions even for like GP and have like crazy GP prizes or have like multiplayer games where you can play online with people or compete with people or have leaderboards. That would have been a cool thing. Like just have random leaderboards for this similar to something like, uh, um, uh, what's that game? What's the, I just, I had the name and then I lost it. What's the, PS5 game with the robot that has all the references. I can't think of it. Astro's Playroom. Um, you know, that had like little leaderboards you could compete on and stuff with the mini games, right? So like just anything, like anything like that, even just a leaderboard would have really pushed this. Imagine, imagine you have the original, um, the original gold saucer but with leaderboards. That would be cool. I think everyone would love that. Compete in the snowboard minigame, compete in... Uh, compete in the bike game, compete in... E maybe even Queen's Blood, if they could pull that, but... You know, online chocobo races, where, like, everyone bets on the chocobos in real time or something, or just online chocobo races racing against other people. Um, you know, which they might still have that. We don't know yet because we haven't got there yet. But, um, yeah, just even just a leaderboard would have been cool. A leaderboard for times for the battle square to do as quick as possible, you know? Um, so yeah, just, I, I guess underwhelming is the word. I, I still think it's cool. I still enjoyed it. I still think it looks great. It's very almost too much like the original, so I gotta give him credit for that. But, uh... Yeah, just underwhelming, I guess. It, okay, so it's not that people wanted microtransactions, but people were saying... People were joking about Gold Saucer having microtransactions, and by them joking about that, it gave the impression that Gold Saucer was gonna be this huge game within a game. You know what I mean? Where, like, GP would actually be this big number you'd, like, brag to your friends about how much you have and be able to spend on, like, skins and crazy things, not just items. Um, so, like, it's not that people wanted microtransactions. It's that people were expecting the Gold Saucer to be so big that microtransactions would have actually been part of it. You know what I mean? Um... And yeah, no, that's 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 really lofty expectations. I don't think we can fault them for not hitting those crazy expectations. But for me, I don't think this even hits my expectations of OG Gold Saucer. To be completely honest with you. It's like there's less games and it's more of just the mini games we've already been playing. But again, 
and we can't again this is only our first visit too so it might be more later but you can tell that the wonder square is only going to be this and the snowboard and then speed square is like not as exciting so yeah like i said underwhelming is the way to put it but it's not bad it's not like i hate it or something i love it but could have been more maybe it will be in the third game Sounds like this guy is pro microtransactions. I hope that's a joke, because <laughs> I literally just said I'm not. Yeah, it could have had more. I think people expected more. I think some people will be a bit disappointed. Other people will be like, this is great. This is what I wanted. For me, I think it lands somewhere in the middle. I'm really only, I think I'm only really disappointed in Speed Square. Honestly, Wonder Square is kind of what I expected, minus maybe having some fun little games to play and not just the big games and that's it. But I think Speed Square is the only one that I'm kind of like, eh. That's where, like, they should have changed it. They shouldn't have tried to been. Well, I. <laughs> okay, I don't want to go. I don't want to sit here and talk about it for like 20 minutes, but. People were mentioning that Speed Square is just like it is in the original, where, like, it's just another minigame. That's fair, but they changed it to be, like, a space shooter with a space guy and, like, changed the whole lore of what it is. It's not a roller coaster anymore. It's a space shooter. So if you're already going to change what it is, you might as well have changed it into a more in-depth experience, right? <laughs> Like, either make it exactly like the original and just have it be a rail shooter on a roller coaster, or make it a big, crazy, Buzz Lightyear space shooter and go all in and make it more in-depth. But instead, it lands somewhere weirdly in the middle, where it is different, but it's also as simple as the original, which is like... What's the point? Oh, so you're saying, like, the Speed Square was actually an even bigger budget cut to make it a space shooter. That makes sense. I think the whole Gold Saucer was kind of an afterthought. Like, they quickly... not nah, quickly put together is a bad term because it looks amazing, but... I think the content in Gold Saucer was not a priority. Which I think is fine but a lot of people expected it to be. A lot of people expected Gold Saucer to be huge, to be a huge part of the game. I mean, for three years, probably like the biggest question I got was like, what's Gold Saucer gonna be like? I'm gonna be in Gold Saucer for hours. People kept telling me like, like you guys gotta, you guys gotta put yourselves in my shoes for a second. It's been three years of me listening to people talk about how they were gonna get lost in the Gold Saucer and spend hours in the Gold Saucer and it's going to be just like the original when I was a kid and I'm going to just be playing the Gold Saucer and not even finish the game. Like, people were expecting that kind of, like, grandiose experience in the Gold Saucer. And you legitimately, like, can't get more than an hour out of this. Unless you're really bad at the games. <laughs> like, you legitimately cannot get that much time out of this. You will play the games, get the points, and then there's, like, nothing else to do. With the exception of the Queen's Blood thing, which seems like that's a bit more to do with the survival thing. So... Uh... Yeah. I just... From my perspective, I think that there will be people messaging me saying, like, I'm really... I'm really, uh, let down by the Gold Saucer. But, for me personally, I liked it, didn't love it. That's kind of where I sit. I didn't like the speed square. Everything else was fun. Looking forward to the chocobo racing because there might that might, might be more in depth than the original. Uh, but seeing as though there's no breeding, I don't know. Spends two point five. Well, that was the story. Did I spend two hours on the games themselves? The motorbike game took. What, five minutes? The battler was probably ten. The space shooter was exactly four. 
Queen's blood is Queen's blood. I don't know if we count that because it's Queen's blood. But I spent like 10 minutes on that because I only did one thing. And then Battle Square was like probably 30, 40 minutes because I died. On everything, yeah, but I'm not talking about everything. I'm talking about it as a game thing, not as like the story. Yeah, I wonder what Chocobo Racing is going to be like, because we don't have breeding, so there's not, like, stats and stuff. But maybe they found a different way to do stats. I think the courses are definitely going to be more in-depth and cool. So I'm looking forward to that. We'll see. We'll see, uh... See what happens, but... Yeah, no, I I'm, you know... I didn't really like the speed square. Other than that, I enjoyed everything else. Maybe they expand upon it. How many hours am I in total? 38. Speaking of which, I need to save. Yeah, no, I, I'm, in, I'm interested to hear what people have to say, like, especially the YouTube audience. They were saying a lot about being excited for Gold Saucer. Um, but, like, it's very obvious that this is just another area. You know? It's not the big come back to every couple of hours and get lost in it kind of thing. It's just another area. In fact, there was almost less going on here than Costa del Sol. Costa del Sol had the shooter game, the soccer game, the chores, the taking pictures of stuff. Uh, what else? There's the gym that we haven't done yet, but I think that's going to end up being a minigame. I mean, it's almost like about the same amount of minigames as... Uh... Yeah, that one also had QB puzzles. Um, had the piano. So, I genuinely think Costa del Sol might have more minigames than Gold Saucer. <laughs> um, so yeah, just saying. I, I think that I'm curious to see what YouTube has to say because I wonder if they they feel the same way. It's great for what it is, but it's not what everyone thought it was going to be, I guess. Anyways, we've gone on way too long about this. We're going to stop here. Let's say goodbye to YouTube. Thank you, YouTube, so much for hanging out and enjoying Rebirth with me today. Uh, overall, really awesome section. I was starting to get bogged down by the insane amount of uh, mini games between Junon and Costa del Sol. So I was hoping that today would pretty much be all action, and it was all action until we got to Gold Saucer. Um, that whole Coral section and uh, Mount Coral was awesome. Um, I think my only, like, kind of... Well, no, it's not, it's not a... Not a criticism. I thought that we'd be able to get back into the open world and do that whole big open world section before Gold Saucer. But instead, they're making us do it after. But I can kind of see why, because Mount Coral was kind of long. So they're trying to pace minigame combat, minigame combat, minigame combat. Um, so I think they could have maybe given us the option, but they obviously they're, they have plans for that. So... Um, but yeah, and then like all the stuff with Barrett was good too. The Barrett cutscenes were great. Um, and really looking forward to seeing how things go with Dine and lots of lots of good little things. The discussion about Barrett's character and the discussion about showing Dine early, and then we got the Zack sections, which like are very small and few between and. I'm still really curious about what's going on there. They're just giving us little tiny tastes of it and then taking it away, um, which is interesting. I thought, 
Honestly, I thought at this point we were going to have like a whole gameplay section with Zack, but it's just been little tiny tidbits. They're just dropping little hints at us, but not giving us anything to really bite into yet. So it's interesting. Um, and I loved that scene with Zack and Marley, and that was great. So overall, fantastic day, fantastic section. We will see you in the next episodes of Let's Play Final Fantasy VII Remake. We will see you there. Peace.